Hi everybody, happy Tuesday. Hope everyone's enjoying their week so far. Today we're gonna go ahead and jump right into our first math lesson of the week. We're still working on time. And um, in this lesson, I'm gonna do a bit of review of what we talked about last week. And we're gonna build on just one more step to that. So if you go all the way back to the notes that we took on the 21st, You'll remember we talked about two different types of clock, digital clock, like what you would see on your watch or on your phone, and an analog clock, which is what you might see in a classroom or maybe in a clock in your house or anywhere else that you would see a clock that looks like this. This is an analog clock. Okay, and if you remember, I'm gonna flip my page over. We talked about how the short hand tells us what the hour is. So the shorter hand on the clock is always going to tell us what the hour is. If the short hand's pointing to the 8, it's 8 o'clock. If the short hand is pointing to the 6, it's 6 o'clock. If the short hand is pointing to the 3, it's 3 o'clock. Short hand always tells us the hour. And the long hand, which we haven't talked as much about, but we're going to talk more about in today's lesson, the long hand tells us how many minutes past the hour. Okay, and we're going to be focusing, just like we did last week, we're going to be focusing a lot on telling time to the hour, so like 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and to the half hour, like 1 o'clock, 1.30, 2 o'clock, 2.30, 3 o'clock, 3.30. So I'm going to bring back this chart that we used last week. Let's zoom out a little bit, see if that helps. There we go. So I want to remind you that one hour is 60 minutes. Let me turn down the brightness a little bit on this. It's easier to see. One hour is 60 minutes. So half an hour is 30 minutes. So one whole hour is 60 minutes. Half an hour is 30 minutes. Now when you have that shorthand and it's pointing right to a number, like this is pointing right to the five, it tells you what time it is. Okay, shorthand's on the five, that means it's five o'clock. When the shorthand points to a number, that's the hour. It's pointing to a five, that's five o'clock. But if you have a shorthand that's kind of in between two numbers, like this is in between the five and the six, when the shorthand is in the middle of two numbers, it is half past, or 30 minutes past the smaller number. So just like we did last week, if it's between two numbers, like five and six, five is the smaller number, so it's 530. If I were to give you a clock and ask you to draw in, let me see if I can find my X little marker really quickly. Here it is. If I were to show you a clock and were to ask you to draw eight o'clock, you would give me a short hand that looks just like that. It's pointing straight to the eight. But if I wanted you to tell me 8.30, then you would give me the short hand right in between the eight and the nine, because then I know it would be the smaller number plus 30 minutes. That would be 8.30. Now that's all what we covered last week, so this should be reviewed, so hopefully we understand that. Now what we're going to do today is we're going to add in that long hand. So normally when you look at a clock, it doesn't just have the short hand on it, it has the short hand and the long hand on it. And for the purposes of our lesson, and I believe for the purposes of all of first grade, there's only two places where that long hand is gonna go. We're either gonna make the long hand go towards the 12, or we're gonna make the long hand go towards the six. Those are the only two places that it's going to go. So when we want to say what time it is, and it's right at the hour, like let's say I look at my, my clock right now, it's about nine o'clock. So I wanna do nine o'clock. I'm gonna take my short hand and I'm gonna point it right at the nine. 
because we know that's how we tell our time. Shorthand goes straight to the nine. Now, I'm also going to draw my long hand towards the 12. So any time that you have a time that's right on the hour, like nine o'clock, your long hand points towards the 12. Any time that you have a half hour, like let's say I want to say 9.30, well, I'm going to go right in between 9 and 10 with my short, and my long hand is going to point towards the 6. So any time it's right on the hour, it points to the 12. Any time it's half past the hour, it's half past the circle, points at the 6. I'm going to do that one more time so that we understand. If I have a time that's right on the hour, let's say I want to say it's 3 o'clock, I'm going to do my short hand right at the 3 and my long hand right at the 12. If I want to say it's 3.30, then my shorthand is going to be between what two numbers? Can we guess? The 3 and the 4. So my shorthand goes right in between the 3 and the 4. And my long hand, because it's 3.30, not just 3 o'clock, my long hand goes down towards my 6. Now it's kind of hard for you to see just from my example, and I'll try to be better about that in the future, but when I say shorthand and longhand, your shorthand should be short and your longhand should be long. So really, if I really want to do a good job, my shorthand is going to look like that. That's my shorthand, that's my longhand. I should clearly be able to see this is my shorthand, this is my longhand, okay? Now I just gave you a bunch of new information. I'm gonna have you go ahead and grab your IJs. I have mine with me right here. I'm gonna grab my IJ and my pen or pencil, and we're gonna write down some notes for what we just practiced. Grab my IJ. Today is going to be 4-28 or 28. 4-28-20, and I'll write that down for you. Great time to pause the video and go grab your IJ if you don't already have it. 4 28 20. And I'm going to put time up in the corner so I know these are more notes about time. And I'm going to write to tell time on the hour, like 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, on the hour. The shorthand points at a number, make sure you're pausing me if you need to, to tell time on the hour, the shorthand points at a number, and the long hand points at 12. And the long hand points at 12. Let's move that up a little bit so everyone can see. Put a period at the end of my sentence because we always do that in first grade. I'll read that again for you to tell time on the hour, like 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. The shorthand points at a number, whatever the hour is, and the long hand points at 12. So for example, if you wanted to tell me that it was eight o'clock, 
then on your clock. I'm going to draw a quick clock here. 12, 3, 6, 9. So draw a circle with the numbers 1 through 12, with 12 at the top, 6 at the bottom. Now, it says to tell time on the hour, the shorthand points to the number, so if it's 8 o'clock, my shorthand's going to point to 8. I'm going to make it nice and short so I know that's my short one. And the long hand points at 12. Nice and long, just like that. So if I want to tell the time and I want to tell you it's 8 o'clock on my clock, shorthand will point to the 8, and the long hand will point to 12. If I wanted to show you, so pause this, Write this down because I'm going to take this away and do a couple of, of practice ones so you see what I mean. So write this down if you need to. I know I did that quickly. Pause me if you need to. And then I'm going to show you a couple of examples of what I mean by this. What I mean by shorthand points to the hour, longhand points to 12. So if it is... Let's zoom out. If it's 3 o'clock, my shorthand points to my 3, and my longhand points to my 12. If it is 5 o'clock, my shorthand points to my 5, my longhand points to the 12. If it is 10 o'clock, my shorthand points to the 10. Where do you think my longhand's going to go? Points to the 12. Anytime it's on the hour, so it's something o'clock without the 30, something o'clock, your shorthand is going to point to that hour, and your longhand is always going to point to 12. So if it's 11 o'clock, shorthand points to 11, longhand points to 12. The only time this gets tricky is when it's 12 o'clock. So let's say you're getting ready for lunch and it's 12 o'clock. So if it's 12 o'clock, that means that my shorthand points to the 12. And it means my longhand points to the 12. You've probably seen the clock like that before where it looks like the two hands are on the same number. Okay. Now for the second half of our notes, I ran out of room, so I'm going to move on to the next page. But if you still have room on your first page, you can save paper and stay on that page. Just whatever's easiest for you. So, one more time. To tell time on the hour, the shorthand points to that number, and the longhand always points to 12. Now, get my page over. To tell time on the half hour, like 1.30, 2.30, The shorthand What does the shorthand do when we're talking about the half hour? Is it right on the number or is it between two numbers? goes between two numbers. So the shorthand goes between two numbers. And the long hand points to the six. Let me zoom in so it's a little bit easier for you to see that. This is a good place for you to pause. 
to tell time on the half hour, the short hand goes between two numbers and the long hand points to the six. Make sure you've got that all copied down. I know that's a lot of work. Take your time. I'll give you the example of let's say I want to show the time 3.30 on my clock. Once again, I'm going to show my clock. So you're going to draw a circle. 12 on the top, 6 on the bottom, 3 on this side, 9 on this side, fill the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is just how I find it easiest to do it. But as long as you have your 12 on the top and your 6 on the bottom, you're good for drawing your clock. So let's say I want to tell the time 3.30. Well, let's look at our instructions again. To tell time to the half hour, and this is the half hour because it ends in 30, the shorthand goes in between two numbers. Now, if we want to show 3.30, that means that our shorthand has to go in between 3 and 4. Not 2 and 3, 3 and 4. So let's draw our shorthand pretty short, going in between 3 and 4. And our long hand is going to point to which number? The 12? To the 6. So go ahead and draw your long hand almost touching the 6. Okay. When you're telling time to the half hour, your short hand goes in between two numbers and your long hand points to the six always. Okay, so I'm going to show you a couple of examples of that too. Here's my clock again. If I want to say it's 11.30 right now, if I want to say that the time is 11.30, My shorthand is between two numbers, 11 and 12, and my long hand goes to the 6. If I want to say that the time is 4.30, then I'm going to go in between 4 and 5 with my shorthand. And my long hand is going to be on the 6. If I want to say that the time is 7.30, my shorthand is going to go in between what two numbers? Can you guess? 7 and 8. And my long hand is going to go where? Not to the 12, to the 6. Okay, so there's a couple of examples of how we tell time to the hour and to the half hour. And I'm going to go ahead and read over our notes one more time, just for repetition's sake, so that we can remember it. So, we just talked about it. To tell time on the hour, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, the short hand points to that number, one, two, three, four, and the long hand always points at 12. Always points at 12. Now, to tell time on the half hour, the short hand goes in between two numbers, and the long hand always points to the six. So half hour points to the six, on the hour points to the 12. Okay, so we're going to skip our workbook pages this time around. And instead, what I want you to do for your homework is in your IJ, I want you guys to draw three clocks. Three clocks. For your first clock, I want you to draw a clock that shows me 9 o'clock. 
your second clock is going to show me 730. And your third clock is going to show me 530. So using what I just told you about where the shorthand and the longhand goes, I want you to draw three clocks and using these times, tell me where the shorthand goes and where the longhand goes. Okay, and if you have any questions about that, feel free to watch this video again and feel free to message me on Class Dojo. I haven't had anybody set up any Zooms with me, but I do one-on-one -on -one Zoom meetings. So if something's really not making sense, make sure you let me know and you and I can set up a time for just me and you and we can help you out. Or if I have three kids or four kids that are having the same issues with the same problem, then I'll get those three or four kids together in a small group Zoom and we'll work this out. I know this is kind of some tricky stuff, so please don't feel afraid to reach out to me. Okay, your only homework this week, again, or your only homework for today, I should say, is to draw three clocks with a shorthand and a longhand that match for 9 o'clock, 7.30, and 5.30. All right, I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. I'll see you all tomorrow, and bye.